It was believed that the characteristic human foot and ability to walk upright on two legs emerged around 1.9 million years ago. But scientists have made a new discovery of human-like footprints dating back almost 3.7 million years. The prints, preserved in rock sediment in Lytoli, Tanzania. Three early humans walked through wet volcanic ash. When the nearby volcano erupted again, subsequent layers of ash covered and preserved the oldest known footprints of early humans. Eleven individual prints were found in good condition. Display a gait more like that of modern humans than the awkward upright walking posture adopted by chimpanzees, orangutans and gorillas. The Lytoli footprints were most likely made by Australopithecus afarensis. An early human whose fossils were found in the same sediment layer. The entire footprint trail is almost 27 meters, 88 feet, long and includes impressions of about 70 early human footprints. The early humans that left these prints were bipedal and had big toes in line with the rest of their foot. This means that these early human feet were more human-like than ape-like. As apes have highly divergent big toes that help them climb and grasp materials like a thumb does. The footprints also show that the gait of these early humans was heel strike. The heel of the foot hits first, followed by toe off the toes push off at the end of the stride the way modern humans walk. The close spacing of the footprints is evidence that the people who left them had a short stride, and therefore probably had short legs. Scientists compared their analysis of the prints with data from footprint studies of modern humans and apes. Computer simulations were also used to predict what kind of footprints would have been formed by different gates. It was previously thought that Australopithecus afarensis walked in a crouched posture. And on the side of the foot, pushing off the ground with the middle part of the foot, as today's great apes do. Researchers found, that the Lytoli prints represented a type of bipedal walking that was fully upright and driven by the front of the foot particularly the big toe, much like humans today, and quite different to bipedal walking of chimpanzees and other apes. However, other aspects of the Australopithecus afarensis body design were quite unlike those of modern humans. The characteristic long-legged, short body form of the modern human allows us to walk and run great distances, even when carrying heavy loads. Australopithecus afarensis had the reverse physical build, short legs and a long body which makes it probable that it could only walk or run effectively over short distances. The shape of the human foot is probably one of the most obvious differences between us and our nearest living relatives, the great apes. The difference in foot function is thought to be linked to the fact that humans spend all of their time on the ground. The importance of the discovery of these footprints is an evidence that the Lytoli hominins were fully bipedal long before the evolution of the modern human brain, and were bipedal close to a million years before the earliest known stone tools were made. We now need to determine when our ancestors first became able to walk or run over the very long distances that enabled humans to colonize the world.